Welcome to a brief demonstration of the SPK Document Restructuring Utility, an extension to the PTC Integrity Lifecycle Manager product that improves the productivity of document authors and supports application lifecycle management solutions that use fewer but richer document domains. For this demonstration, we will use the implementation of a design, failure modes, and effects analysis solution within PTC Integrity. FMEA is a common tool for risk management within regulated industries such as medical device development and aerospace. As this diagram shows, this solution defines seven distinct types of artifacts. PTC Integrity Lifecycle Manager is very flexible and configurable, and such a solution could be implemented in a number of ways. One possible approach, and historically a common one with PTC Integrity Lifecycle Manager, has been to implement such a solution using relatively simple flat document domains, as shown here. While this allows for very tailored document views for each of the document types, it has the downside of requiring a large number of documents to capture the overall analysis. This makes it hard to see the big picture, with the various flat documents providing relatively disjointed views into slices of the overall analysis, and the users performing the analysis having to switch back and forth between the various documents as they enter their findings. An alternative approach is to use fewer but richer document domains to implement the solution. One-to-many trace relationships align naturally with the document hierarchy structure implemented by PTC Integrity. Let me demonstrate. As you can see, by combining five of the artifacts into a single document domain, users of the FMEA solution can have a much more comprehensive view of the overall analysis. The document hierarchy helps clarify the relationships between the different items that make up the analysis. However, even a relatively small document such as this 66 item example can be time consuming to author. Here we have another copy of the failure modes document we just saw but this time as a flat sequence of content items without any trace relationships established. It can be a time-consuming operation for the user to manually create the document structure and establish the relationships between the elements in the document. Here, I am indenting the child items of the first feature and establishing half a dozen trace relationships. And as you will see, that will take me about a minute and a half, working as quickly as possible within the PTC Integrity Client. It is recommended practice to use name trace relationships to establish traceability between the artifacts that make up the meaningful content of a solution, such as this FMEA document. The document structure hierarchy does not constrain what can be contained by what, so it is easy to accidentally make an inappropriate artifact a child of another. Name trace relationships prevent that class of traceability problems. Given we have a well-defined structure for the failure mode document domain, the implementation of document hierarchy and creation of the trace relationships between the different artifacts is well suited for automation. The SBK document restructuring utility improves author productivity by automating the restructuring of the document hierarchy and creation of the trace relationships between elements inside the document. Users can create flat documents where the content items are in the correct order, then invoke the utility from a custom button. Now I will invoke the SPK document restructuring utility on another flat, unstructured copy of the FMEA document. Once the custom button is invoked, the utility prompts the user for their PTC integrity credentials. All restructuring updates are performed as the user, ensuring the document history records who did the restructuring. The utility then reads the definition of the document domain structure and desired trace relationships from a parameter file stored on the PTC Integrity server and performs the restructuring based on that definition. A single parameter file stores the structure definition for any number of document domains within the PTC Integrity solution. The tool is not limited to working with only one type of document. The utility not only handles restructuring the defined artifact types of the document domain, it can also move all document content under containing headings, which are also defined within the parameter file on a per document domain basis. The SPK document restructuring utility also handles moving artifacts higher or lower in the document hierarchy, as long as they are properly ordered. The utility takes a very conservative approach to restructuring. If an item is not ordered properly for correct restructuring or is not an artifact defined for restructuring, the utility leaves it alone within the document and logs a message about what it found. The utility pops up a dialog notifying the user when document restructuring is completed. The SPK document restructuring utility processed the entire 66 item document in under a minute. The SPK document restructuring utility is a shipping commercial product 
fully supported by SBK and Associates for versions 10.0 through 10.7 of the PTC Integrity Lifecycle Manager. I hope you have found this quick overview of the capabilities of the SPK document restructuring utility useful and informative. If you would like to find out more about the utility or the other products and services that SPK and Associates offers, please visit our website or call us.